What's going on YouTube? Sage here and I'm back with another video. This time I'm going to explain dark eyes and the Scala missing. So right now it looks like our model is all prepped and ready and good to render. But here is a problem. If we go into iRay, <clears throat> her eyes are not going to be what they should be. As you can tell right here, she's missing some scala on the inside and on the outside. There's like a little dark ring going around the eyes and it just looks like she's more of an elf rather than an actual model character. So, how do we fix this? Well, the cause of this little, I don't even know if it's, I don't know why it's not fixed. It's something that I feel like Daz probably should be able to fix. And it's kind of silly, honestly. But the eyes go nuts like that when the character is too far away from the zero, zero, zero point on the scene. So zero, 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 meaning from as a whole perspective, that's the, like the starting point for X, Y, and Z. So our character is actually around... I think it's like negative 1,000-ish is what she's at. And at that point, her eyes goes dark. It's different based off a of model and everything else, too. It's, it's, it's some weird stuff. But there's a fix for it. And it's real, real easy. So what I did was I combined everything into a group. My whole scene is a group, right? Right here. And how you do that is you can select all or whatever if you just want one you can let's say you just want the model and then something else you can just hold down control and click something else right but if you want everything you can hit control a like this and this button right here is how you group and when you group them it brings up a window you can name it hit okay and then it groups it all together like i have right here so we're going to select this, and we're going to go out of perspective mode. We're, I mean, yeah, we're going to stay in perspective mode, and we're going to go all the way back. We're going to zoom way on out here, right? Wee! Yeah, I get a bird's eye view of that. All right. Now, we're going to take this, because the reason why it's so far off is because the character I purposely put on the Z at, like, negative 1,000 and something. So let's take that. And we're oop, too far. We're going to just bring it closer to the zero mark, right? So let, let's say right about, right about here. I think this will be good. So now let's, let's go to our camera, which is our, where our model is at. And just in case that's uh, a big jump right there, if we zoom all the way back out. I had the camera also with the scene, so I still had the same shot. So it's just this camera right here. So click on that. And now, let's go ahead and look at the eye ray and see if the eyes are corrected. It's a simple fix, but it is definitely annoying. And as you can tell, the scala is back in the eyes, and she looks like a normal human being again. Real easy fix. I, I didn't know what I was looking for. I was like, why are my eyes doing this when I first started Daz? I'm like, what is this noise but that is the cause of it it's just getting too far away from the x y and z anyways i think that's it for this video i hope this was helpful if it was hit that like button hit that subscribe button help support the channel and i will catch you guys in the next video